Inspiration Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast. As always, with both Ryan Boniface and the man himself, Jose Neuer, TikTok superstar. How are we doing, guys? Good, thank you, Lee. Absolutely great, mate. That is a great introduction, by the way. That's what I'm here for. That is what I'm here for. We thank everyone out there for listening, whatever podcast player on, watching us on YouTube, or joining us live, as we do each and every week at 6 p.m., sometimes Tuesday, sometimes Wednesday, sometimes Thursday. Follow us on social media at listen to I and listen to O I N, and we will signpost when. Or, of course, just hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. Just search for Jose Neuer Inspiration Nation on YouTube, and you will be notified when we are going live. With all my admin out of the way, Let's get rolling with this week. Joe, I believe you are the man with the plan this week. So what are we talking about? Yeah, brilliant. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Now, do you know what? I don't, I don't know what I can't, but I can't get the YouTube stream up. So can you just look out for comments and questions, please? Indeed, I'm on, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'll leave that with you. I don't know what it is. But anyway, just to this week. So, you know, previous weeks I've been running through my uh, Stephen Covey, um, Stephen Covey, um, Seven Habits, um, and I want to continue that. But something's happened something has happened which i want to talk about so i was going to talk about that i've read the read the <laughs> read the chapter uh, but i'm not going to reveal that till the next time i get the chance to speak so this week i want to talk about luck is a skill that's what i want to talk about okay and this is a simon squib classic as you remember we interviewed simon squib on the podcast multi-millionaire absolutely superstar on tiktok um lee referred to me as a superstar but simon squib is the real superstar uh he's amazing Go check his, uh, go check out his YouTube. But he's big on TikTok, really big on TikTok. Basically, just interviews people on the street. Yeah, you know, I just start a business, and basically starting a business with two hundred quid actually you can start a business with nothing. He's 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 the man. If you want to start a business, he's your man. Um, but when we interviewed him, and what he goes on about a lot is that luck is an actual skill. So luck is a skill. Do you remember? Do you, so, first of all, I'm going to ask both uh, Lee uh, and Ryan. I'll ask you both. Do you agree that luck is a skill? Or what are your thoughts on whether luck is a skill? What, or what's your interpretation on whether luck is a skill or not? So I remember this from where, and I know we've, we've touched on this particular subject before. And for me, my view on it is the skill in luck, if you like, is how open you are to opportunity. So the more open you are, the more you see things, the more you're prepared to say yes to the right things the more you take those opportunities where luck is a circumstance and the more that that can go in your favour. So kind of the the less risk adverse you are, the more open you are to the chances that are created. And that's where you're you're taking those opportunities for luck to be a factor. Love that, yeah. Love that. Ryan, what about you? What's your view? I don't think luck is a skill, <clears throat> but I think something that I refer to as form is a skill. So luck by its own definition is I don't, you know i don't have a dictionary in front of me but if if Google. you think of the word luck it's like you just by coincidence or randomness gain something of favor i think that's probably somewhat somewhat of a fair definition whereas i think i like to use the word form that is putting yourself in the positions to get lucky similarly to what lee's just said you have to put yourself into areas i don't want to make a football analogy but it makes it very easy to but footballers have to be in the right place at the right time to make the right pass or the right cross or the right run to score a goal or things like that you know happens in every way of life you have to be in the right place at the right time to meet the right life partner or make get the right job or you know you can butterfly affect it as much as you like you got out of bed a minute earlier than your alarm today that meant you got to spend an extra minute in the shower which really pumped you up for your day you know you can you can define it to anything and i think form is putting yourself in the right place at the right times for luck to carry you over the line. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I don't screw with any of you. Um, I really love Simon Scoop's take on this, and he's right. You're on the right lines, I would say. And he talks about that luck is a skill. It's, it's, um, it's, it's the more risk you take, the more luck you're going to get. That's essentially what he talks about. You know, the more you put yourself out there. And actually, I think, Ryan, you, you did a video from TikTok where there's this whole, was it 20 rules or something? I think it was in there somewhere. There was something that, to that effect in there. Because I think there's a clip that I released and it was about luck. And I think there was a little bit of an element around it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I really love that. And it really does element. And now we're talking, now Simon Scooby's a multi-millionaire. So I'm, he's talking from a place where it's working. Like, you know, it's not that it doesn't work, right? Now, it is about that whole thing about taking risks minimizing downside and putting yourself getting ready for the for the opportunity to come up now i want to tell you a little story because 
something happened to me over the weekend. Something, and I just couldn't believe it. Right <laughs> now, I don't. Now, as you all know, um, my mum passed away. I don't tell me why, but but numbers be coming. Now, I don't know whether I believe this or not, but this is a weird thing that's been happening. So, one of our videos got a two 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 views. I'm like, What's that? That's a bit odd. Um, so I looked up two 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 views. It's like a short. So everyone, you guys on TikTok or YouTube, or you're listening, go over to YouTube and watch those videos because those numbers rising. Anyway, two two two. Then I saw one of the videos start the actual length of the videos four four four. I was thinking, what's going on? Anyway, I look. I just you know because I don't know what's coming into my mind, but I was, I was going into my mind and then I was looking it up and I was looking and they're called angel numbers, right? I'm not saying I believe this stuff, but mum was very religious, right? Mum was very religious. She's into. She quite liked, but she quite liked that other side that um, to a bit about her. She really quite liked, you know, tarot reading, all that sort of stuff. You know, it's a little bit out there. Um, and I'm I'm very skeptical. I'm very more Darren Brown type. We just make our own. You know, life just happens. It's, it can be quite random, and you know, you respond to it, right? Anyway, I looked into it, and and, and apparently four four four. Someone might correct me on TikTok. <laughs> someone can correct me, but basically is. You're getting guided by some, you know, by some, my mum really believes in, in guardian angels, right? She she swore by that. Anytime she needed help, guardian angel, come along and help her out. She's stuck or anything. Anyway, long start, look, cut a long story short. So it's the angel number talks about you're in the right place. You're heading in the right direction. Um, things are happening for you. And, and the, things have been happening in a very strange way lately for me. Anyway, me and my friend, we go out for breakfast. We go out for breakfast uh, every every by every couple of months, right? We go out. Like, it all takes me. Go oh, all right. And Rob, if you, I hope you bloody better listen to this, Rob. I'm talking to you, Rob. You better listen to this episode. I better watch this episode because he promised me you would if I talked about it. So Rob's one of my friends. He's a counsellor actually, um, and he's a humanistic humanistic counsellor. And I can't remember the. Oh, I keep telling me about the person who's based upon, but I can't. I can't remember the name. Anyway, we go out for we go out for breakfast by monthly. He'll just text me. Oh, do you fancy go to breakfast? Yeah, we go to breakfast. Usually we go to. Shall I, can I say the name? Yeah, we go to other spoons. But what we've decided that we don't want to sort of go spend money in a big old place we've established. We want to try and support local businesses. Anyway, he suggested that we go to this local local uh, eatery called Dicker Stores, Dicker Cafe, uh, Upper Dicker. It's near near us. I don't know if you guys know where that is. Upper Dicker. I know Lee's smiling. He's so... no, no, I'm smiling because Ryan's smiling because we both have <laughs> oh, Ryan, really, really Ryan. grown up, guys, mature, <laughs> sensitive humour. Have and... you, you been mature about this, Ryan? Well, Dicker Cafe. <clears throat> I'm over it now. You said it. Are you over times. it? You yeah, sure? Right yeah. You sure? Although he just, <coughs> it just took me by surprise. I can't lie. Both the Dicker Cafe as I real places might raise a smile. Both Upper Dicker and Lower Dicker often appear on those lists of funny place names in the <laughs> UK, don't they? Mm. Anyway, so this is the weird thing, right? These numbers have been appearing, right? These numbers have been appearing, and I don't know whether it's association or something, but luck is a skill, right? So we've been putting out these videos, bum, bum, bum. You know, we've been really, like, creating content, lots and lots and lots and lots of content. I think the last sort of few, half a year, really been going hard on this, right? Um, anyway, we got into, got into the, uh, the Dicker stores, got in. Lovely place, by the way. If you ever get a chance, go Dicker, Dicker Cafe, pop, pop it <laughs> <laughs> Pop it you're, you're losing it yourself laugh now. Now because he laughed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I say it, it's really weird. But Pop Dicker Cafe in your Google machine. It's a lovely place. Um, go down there and uh, have a lovely breakfast. And they do, I think they do evening stuff. Anyway, we were sitting at a table. It was packed, absolutely jammed. It's very popular. You, we sit down. We sit down at this table and this guy called Didi. Didi, his name's, I'm sure that's what his name is, comes down. I didn't know his name at the time, but his name's Didi. Sits us down and says, oh, sit here and sit near these people. We go, oh, sit near these people. Don't know them. And he says, oh, this person's a skydiver. This person's an acrobat or something. He makes stories up so he gets people to basically talk, talk to each other, trying to get people to talk to each other. That's basically what it is. It's really great. Actually. It's quite funny. Very similar to me, high energy type person. And anyway, we're sitting there and we're chatting away. This Didi guy goes off get, and we put our breakfast order in, go pay for it, come back down here, they bring it to you. And he's wondering, yeah. Oh, what do you mean? I recognise that. Recognise your laugh. Really? And I've laughed a lot in this episode already because of Ryan. Um, yeah. You're Jose, aren't you? Jose Noy, right? Yeah. Jose Noy, Inspiration Nation, right? Yeah. Yeah. How do you know? I watch your YouTube channel all the time. I'm converting a bus at the moment and I have your channel all the time. But what happens is I just put on the sound because I'm, I'm re repurposing a bus to live in. I went, oh my god you know ian don't you and if you guys know i interviewed ian the inspirational barber on the podcast you guys will know me the episode right indeed and he third through him about the podcast and 
this Didi, Didi who's a lovely guy, he does sort of, sort of does talks and inspirational stuff at schools and stuff like that. And he's going, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love what you do. That's fabulous. And like, he was like getting his coffee and all that. It's brilliant. So that was the first thing. And I thought, oh my God, this is so amazing. Thank you so much, Didi. I really appreciate you. Anyway, sitting at the table, I thought this is fabulous. Sitting at the table. You know, I love coaching. This lady comes in the door, sits down. And she sits in a, sits there and we, we start talking. It's a lovely lady. Start talking. You know, Dee's talk, talking about, it. he goes, oh, I love your channel. You, you know, you're coaching and all this is great. And we, we'd have a little conversation before that. And she goes, you're coaching? Yeah, that's right. I'm a coach. You are joking. I said, yeah, I'm a coach. I went, yeah, I'm, I'm a positive psychology coach. I went, this is brilliant. This is, I could not ask for a better breakfast. This, I'm, I'm sitting down in the cafe I get Didi saying, great YouTube channel, I've got a coach next to me. This is, and we're starting to talk about all the different models. We're talking about how we could probably do something together. And I'm going to give her, give her a shout out. So it's um, Sharon Maddie Patel Coach. Look on Instagram, follow. We're probably going to do something together. So she said, so contact me. So I've did contact, we've contacted over Instagram. So we're going to do something. So I might be doing a, doing a bit of a video or something with them. I don't know if it's going to be happy. We're going to go off, we're going to talk it out. Anyway, that's that. So oh, this is brilliant. Sitting there, eating my breakfast, sausages, all the, all the all the whole thing, fabulous. I'm just on a high right now. I'm having tons of coffee. You know, guys, like I'm like on coffee, right? Massively. Like, like you are coffee. right now, I feel. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like I came on. The guys are going. What is Jose on? He's absolutely going nuts today. Um, I don't know what's going on. <coughs> caffeine, accidentally. I'm sitting there, and now now this is this is the next. This is, and I'm sitting there anyway. Talking to to, to Maddie, I turn, I sort of look, and this guy taps me on the shoulder. I turn around. It's a lovely guy. And he says, um, I've been hearing you do coaching. I'm a bit stuck at the moment. And um, I'm not sure which direction I go. And I hear you talk about coaching and how me forward. Yeah, yeah. He said, could you mind if you give me your website? And I can go and look. I said, yeah, yeah, just contact me um, and we can do it. He says, um, so I'm an artist um, um, and I, um, you know, I, I, I draw and I think that's fabulous. I says, and I do classes and I help people become artists, like draw, sketch. That's brilliant. That's fabulous. And I help people obviously through, you know, use it to as an expression. I said, I'd love to do that. I said, yeah, well, maybe come to my class. It's great. It's fabulous. Anyway, then the person next to them goes, I'm into poetry and I help people through poetry. So you've got these four people, talk about first development, just in this conversation around coaching. And this is why I think luck is a skill because without this, us putting ourselves out, that wouldn't happen. However, I just want to add a little bonus thing to this. So Cliff Wright was the artist's name. And Ryan, you're going to love this. Honestly, you're going to love this, Ryan. This is just for you. This is, and I just thought this. I was waiting for this. He's, this artist has only gone and done some of the original illustrations for the first Harry Potter book. I'm going to let that sink in for a minute. An artist has done illustration for the first, first Harry Potter book. Absolutely, and he lives very local. He lives local. So I sent him an email. <laughs> I looked at his website. I went, oh my god! Didn't didn't say anything about that when I spoke to him. The twist on it. Oh my god, this is incredible! And actually, he's got his own Wikipedia page. <laughs> I was like, he's going, oh, whoa! I was going, whoa, this is awesome! And actually, on his website, there's like faxes from the um, publishing house about the sort of drawings. I think, ah, oh, this is brilliant. Anyway, so I've sent him a message and I've asked him to reach out. So I haven't heard from him yet, but I'm really hoping. So, Cliff, I'm giving you a shout on our show. I'd love to you to get on the show, um, talk about your that, that story. Also, Sharon, you know, we'd love to have you in the show. And there's the poet person. I really didn't get the poet person. I wanted the poet person's details. I didn't get their details. But anyway, what do you think of that, guys? About luck is a skill. Go on, talk to me. What do you think of that? I think I think I can see why you think it's a skill. I would go back and say it's the form of the hard work that we've put in that helped Dee Dee notice you in the cafe to then trigger that conversation to trigger that conversation. So you put yourself in a position to be noticed and then the luck that was that the other people latched on so that's why I, that in my mind i see mm. it as mm. you've put yourself in that in that place through the hard work that we've done kind of pushing content and stuff and then the lucky part of that was the other two guys or three guys at the end of that latching on yeah yeah i just I just i just blown away by it and um yeah i think about that a lot actually i think about this that moment that is probably one of the best moments connected, you know, not connected with this, uh, you know, one of the best moments connected with this whole thing that we're doing. And I look back and I think it's really funny because, you know, when I look back at this podcast and I remember when I, when I was taking a big break from the podcast and, um, you know, not podcast, it wasn't a podcast, it wasn't even a podcast. Well, I'd taken a break from videos about a year 
and nothing has happened. Nothing and nothing and nothing and nothing has happened. Now we've been really consistent. Now we've really been going hard on content and really putting stuff out there. I definitely think it's made a difference. And yeah, and whether you look at it like that, serendipitous or whatever like that, but if I if, if we had not put that content, that would not have happened. That bit of luck, it just wouldn't have happened. And this is why I love this. And this is, why I'm gonna, this is the lesson I want people to take away from this episode. If you believe you're passionate in something, go full in on it do it consistently all of the time if, you, if it's something you're passionate about don't listen to it so what ryan has talked about it before we've all talked about it. do not listen to the judgment i'll just go full in and start doing it if you love it it won't feel like work it won't feel like a drag if it feels like a drag you don't love it do it see what happens and i'm really super pumped about this and we're talking about the numbers before we go in on air as well weren't we Ryan? we're talking about actually we're slowly growing the growth is coming it's slow but it's 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 growing but we're starting to really get some momentum so i just want to thank everybody for for subscribing liking so please continue to do that so anyway i'm done i was just so excited by that and i think maybe that's why i was so excited when i I do want to talk to you about these guys and i find it really hard not to talk to you guys about this stuff and i would have put it in the chat but i wanted it to be so you would hear it as the audience hears it because i think it's just one of the best things ever that this has never ever happened to me in terms of people recognizing that this is a thing like from the outside and that i really not met do you know what and i do i know dd dd i'm going to ask a question you might come back to me. i think i do recognize you i think many years ago you were on the board of my daughter's school and we met at a board i'm sure we did let me know anyway there you go any thoughts on that guys that, that's me that's me done that's me done that <sighs> was an incredible story jay goes crammed to 40 minutes podcast into uh 20 minutes <laughs> yeah. sort. is that good is that a good use of time right you know if some people listen to podcasts at like 1.5 speed or two times speed they yeah. don't need to they won't need to this week <laughs> you just <laughs> love it but, love it so, but, no, so on something... this is just the whole thing Go on. sorry Go on, that though. was me clearing my throat not cutting you off by the way that sounded really rude I'm a man flu in it today. No, sorry, no, 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 sure, no. Sure, yeah, Good shut your yeah, face, Joe. You've had, Thanks, you've had your airtime. <laughs> I just there's some technology, you. Ned. We, we're coming up on our fourth year, and obviously we've talked. We we had some messages on our WhatsApp in the week around various things with, you know, our original goals of just reaching one person, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If someone said to you that you'd be out, and someone would effectively recognise you in public for your for your content, Joe, I think that would definitely be a bucket list thing. And that has, that has happened, which is back to the, the theme on this is a result of two things. And it ties in with, I think what we've all said is a, a number of circumstances led to that person happening to, you know, from the barber, recommended to this person, happening to go to that calf, all things outside of your control and circumstantial and fit under the luck banner. But it's because of the hard work behind the scenes in creating the content and being consistent and putting it out there and having that form back to Ryan's reference earlier that meant all those luck things have been able to converge and create that circumstance of events that then led to that whole chain of you sitting there as well. But I just think the having got recognised is something for definitely sticking your kind of moments to remember type of thing, which I think, think is fantastic, especially we're coming up on the anniversary. And I think it just it illustrates both the, the the merits of consistency of hard work but being available for those opportunities leaning into those conversations that they've happened and then it all it all started to snowball so it, i think it does all come back to what we're saying is luck is a skill but the skill is being able to seize those opportunities and preparation is key isn't it yes. i mean we've had these conversations now for the past four years and I mean, you don't even know but... what you're preparing for sometimes but you've just no. got to keep pu- pushing into just... what is that thing you yeah. want to do and making it happen you've just got to be ready like like you've just got to be ready and like had we you know, had that happened and, that, and maybe maybe like they said oh recognize your youtube channel i might be ready for that conversation and to have that sort of high level conversation with the coach around coaching you know, had I not been preparing that, I may not been able to engage in the way that I did. Yeah, so definitely preparation is, you know, it prepares you. You don't necessarily when it's coming, but you're when it comes, you're then ready to, to grab the opportunity, right, when it comes. Um, and I think that's a really, really great thing to do. Um, so, yeah, I, yeah. And again, I'm totally on board with Simon's philosophy of luck is a skill. I'm so on board with that. And so, you know, when people say this stuff, you you know, before you actually do it, it's like something, yeah, people are just saying that, yeah, it's all right for you. You've got whatever X amount, you know, 
If you you have to create it, and and I hear about these people, and this is why I really struggle with things like um. And guys, please pop on the comments. Thank you, by the way, for the gifter. Um, thank you so. Who's that? Uh, or you sent a rose. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the gift. I appreciate that. So it was a Simon, no Simon Squib. You know, you can you can sort of doubt this stuff, but. You could actually step into it because you because the thing if you say oh well it's right for you then you're just denying yourself the opportunity to do it right that's it you've exactly. got to try it you've got to do it then experience it and and and, and no for for, for 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 many this is the fourth it's going to be our fifth year in it the fifth or fourth year we'll be starting our fifth year in a couple of weeks is it two thousand is it episode two oh eight it's going to be fifth year that well that will be the fourth anniversary which then moves us fourth into right. our fifth year. fifth year so we've been at this really solidly for four years but really sort of just in our strategy like shorts and things like over the six, last six months which has really evolved and, and we've really been pushing it so yeah this is definitely something that's, that's great and, and so i just want to say uh, thank you simon squib i'm going to tag him in this for introducing me to luck is a skill coming from the one of the highest levels as well like this is someone who's who doesn't have to work ever a day in his life ever again, but he does because he wants to help other people. Um, I think is fantastic. So, thank you, Simon, for that, and thank you for all the people that are um, supporting DD Sharon. You, you, you discovered us, and Cliff. I want you to get in. I want you to get. I want you to get in touch with the show, right? I want you to get in touch with us, and everybody who's supporting, liking, sending roses, and re this is really like I'm feeling starting to feel real movement, and and I love it. Um, and it's so nice. Um, to see that there's something out there that, that helps people and that we're doing it and we're doing our own time right we're doing this because we want to help the planet and help the people i love that anyway over to you guys anything else from you guys by the way <coughs> anything else on this bad time cough there not for i just i think that's a great story joe and it's you know where we talk about inspiration you can see because me and ryan both commented how bouncy you were before we started recording and it's this so this you know the results feeling the results of of the work has inspired you and hopefully this inspires others out there as well to keep pushing on whatever their dreams well, may be it certainly does give you a boost right so you sometimes do work sometimes like you don't want to release you don't want oh, you've got to edit i've got to edit this thing you know but those are the, those are the things those are the things that create the things i don't know if that's the, <laughs> create, the things that it's like, create it's the doing, things that's a t-shirt it's doing, yeah it, it's but it's doing that work. Do you think, you know, I really just, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it because this is necessary. I need to schedule this stuff because it's necessary. But I love doing, this is the bit I really love, the talking to you guys, you know, talking to the people. The things I don't really like doing is the editing and all that sort of stuff. But it's the necessary work for it to, to, to happen, right? Otherwise, it doesn't happen. Uh, you know, Dean, the, it, do, it just doesn't happen without all that work and sometimes we don't feel like doing it but you've got to do it when you don't feel like it because that's going to produce results later on so you've got to push through those those moments which is difficult it's hard right but it's, it's worth it i would say yes over to you guys <laughs> i haven't had coffee i swear it's decaf i swear it's decaf yeah, i'm not sure it is Honestly. someone's been sneaking something in there any final comments ryan before i wrap us up no all good from me mate this is really good joe i feel boosted from your story let alone how you feel so fantastic stuff and again we want to thank everyone out there as joe said lots of I stuff we're so. doing now so join us live on tiktok just follow joe jose uh, jay noyer underscore inspiration nation or search us on youtube jose noyer inspiration nation if you follow subscribe on either one of those platforms you will be notified when we are going live and we appreciate everyone who's dropped in supported given likes and everything else this week and of course if you are listening to the audio version or you are watching back on youtube at any time this could be tomorrow this could be six months from now it could be three years from now we very much appreciate you please just hit subscribe hit the like button hit the five star button that is all what helps us grow and exactly like joe has described today tell friends tell family get them involved and listen to and hopefully we can help them um inspirationnation.org.uk and twitter at I love listen it. to i n listen t-o-i-n they are all our things thank you everybody i think all that's left for me to do is now count us down three to one inspiration nation we will catch you guys later inspiration nation later catch you guys later <laughs>
Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this inspiration nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another videos go live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation, ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video, Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.